All right. PC Game Show, done for another year. Uh, it was almost a two hour presentation. That was almost as long as Microsoft's yeah. presentation. Um, they had a lot to show. Mm -hmm. um, so we were at the PC Game Show last year. Mm -hmm. And it it's a good show. It's always a, it's always a pleasant time to see games that you might not... Um, that otherwise don't really get this kind of spotlight. Mm -hmm. and they don't, like, this isn't like... I mean, you guys just watched the show. It's not like the kind of games that are like going to like blow you away. And yeah, there's like there's Borderlands three and there's Baldur's Gate three, mm -hmm. which are huge games. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of like fun smaller games, and those are the ones I'm really excited about. Like there's two that really stuck out to me. Uh, Genesis Noir mm -hmm. uh, looks Definitely. just it's I don't usually like, in, like on these streams you might hear me say like oh they don't show like gameplay. I'm not super interested. I they show gameplay. I don't get it. And yeah. that interests me. Yeah. Um, and then there's also uh, songs of songs of conquest. Yes, definitely. Uh, that was really a... really good. Mm. Um, and then uh, El uh, El Hijo, uh, mm. the boy, uh, sounds really fun. It's just that's a kind of like you don't see that in games. Like, it's, <laughs> not a, it's not a shooter. It's not a, a, an action game or anything. It's very much a it's a stealth game, but in a very unique setting, which mm -hmm. I thought was really cool. Yeah. Um, what about you, Jacob? Is there anything that you thought was what stood out to you? Um, well, seeing more gameplay Man Eater, um, I've been, like, as soon as we saw that last year, I just immediately said, I want this game. Mm. And just seeing more gameplay, more um, ideas, and how they're building up the story about it, you know, like, how, how the shark has feelings, you know, he got, uh, you know, he, he has a vendetta against... Uh, <laughs> against this uh, legendary shark fisherman and now he has to level up and <laughs> and eat people just so that he can take his vendetta which is really great but uh, like you said uh, uh, Songs of Conquest uh, was also a uh, highlight of this presentation I think um, Baldur's Gate 3 was again another big title that is you know everybody's been like just talking about it ever since the trailer, mm. and just hearing just a little bit more timbits about it. Uh, we we are definitely going to have to wait for this game, but at the same time, I'm happy if you know they're taking their time and building yeah. it up the way that they want to build it up. Um, Warframe content's always exciting. Um, you know, Warframe has been it's just grown into something so much bigger, and it's great to see. Um, but yeah, again, uh, Manhunter was uh, as soon as that. Uh, Started playing, I just uh, I just let up. This is this is the game that I wanted to see, and I'm so glad I got to see it again. Cool. But you could. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think probably the game that when we unfortunately I don't think really got to see fully because uh, looked like they were having some technical issues on their end. Mm. Was um, I wanted to see more about Terraria. Mm -hmm. um, the I don't know. It looks good. I like Terraria. Mm -hmm. and, uh, anything, any new content would be good. Um, it maybe looked like it could have just been done as a an expansion of sorts. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I think it was an expansion for it. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then that's fine. I mean, the bestiary thing looked really cool. That's mm -hmm. no more wiki because you can just pull that up and see. Oh, yeah. this is a, the drop that I need, mm -hmm. where I can get it. Another cool game was the one that rebelling the uh, zombie. Uh, yeah, sure, that was from the, the makers of Sniper Elite. Yeah. yeah, that seemed really cool. Yeah. Um, just that it was odd. It looked like uh, Left 4 Dead in this. Uh, yeah, sense. I, got, I got real Left 4 Dead vibes from that. Um, but yeah, no, it just looked cool, and I hope they have like that camera where like you see whenever you have a perfect time shot, the brains blow yeah. up or yeah. things like that. Um, uh, PvP for uh, Rubentide 2 was also really yep. exciting. Uh, that. Urban Tide 2 game PvP is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that game is, is blowing up. Like it's 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 a stream Twitch darling. Like people mm -hmm. love playing, showing this game's gameplay. So mm -hmm. that's really really cool. Um, I like the uh, I like the the prop hunt s game. The ghost. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, that looks like a fun. Like if it if it goes for a half decent price, that'd be a fun game. To yeah, mm -hmm. with a few few of your friends. Um, <laughs> yeah, just the. Having the uh, the ghost being able to interact with the yeah. objects to have them throw at you and stuff. Because they, they said mm -hmm. that's based off a Gary's mod mod, right? Like that, they, that's what I was yeah. saying. I don't mm -hmm. know if they said that. I, I, wasn't I, saying, I think they, they kind of... They said, it, they said it was based on a mod, and I think it's Gary's yeah, mod. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Gary's mod prop hunt is like the, the game mode mm -hmm. for that. But, 
the uh, Team Fortress. Uh, Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yeah. That that looked really fun. Yeah. Um, I, I I was like, oh my God, they're bringing like they're making T Fortress. Yeah. I, I kind of like thinking into what sense they're doing, and then it's like Team Fortress. I'm like, oh, that's really neat. Yeah. Um, probably the maybe not the biggest game of the the show, but the one that I was really happy to see looks good is Shenmue Three. Yeah. Shenmue Three looks improved over what we had seen before it. I mean, it always looked fine, but like the in the very first trailer, the animations were really stiff. And like it looked like a Dreamcast game that they brought into like yeah. the modern age. What they showed here, I was like, oh no, it, it's fluid, it's dynamic. Mm. And like they showed the the martial arts, which was mm -hmm. like just really well done. Yeah. Um. So Shenmue Three, another November game. Mm -hmm. uh, it recently got delayed. We already knew about that, but it was. Um, no, it was just it's it's nice to see that a Sega game gets that kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, of love uh, during the show. Um, so yes, that was great. Uh, so we're about, um, I don't know if you guys had any final thoughts on the PC gaming show, we are about five minutes away from the start of limited run games, which we also want to cover. Uh, so I guess we'll just do a really quick, quick ranking. Uh, Jacob, on the LC scale, what would you give the PC gaming show 2019? Um, I'd give it a 7.8. 7.8? Very, very oh. good. Um, there's solid games, but then there was also some games that so didn't very interesting and also the like the chair and the, the the computer screen didn't like it. I felt like it was the wrong place to show it. Right. Uh, but no overall it was a really great it was a really great press conference for me. Cool. Her? Yeah, I'd give it uh, probably a seven. Just um I felt like there could have been or there was a bit to left to be desired. Yeah. I guess. Um some good showings for sure, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. definitely a, I'm I'm right there with you with a seven. I think one one of the things that was, I don't know if it's just based on the like the awkwardness of the presentation or, or whatnot, but there were a lot of times where the the host was you know so when is it coming out and the answer was we can't tell you yet. And there was yeah, a lot yeah. of that like, then why'd you even ask? Yeah, <laughs> like, I wasn't really prepared. Like, yeah, they, they weren't sure. So yeah, so um, but no, overall it was solid. Like a, a solid show. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one of the better PC gaming shows I would say. Like, I mean, it's always fun, but I think this was a pretty well balanced one. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so that's uh, it for our live stream of the PC gaming show and our reactions. Uh, so, like I said, we will be live very shortly uh, for limited run games. Uh, so they are doing a press conference this year. Uh, they say they have 50 games to announce. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to stay tuned to linkcable.com. We're posting a whole bunch of VT content content uh, over there, as well as uh, you know, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on uh, everything uh, that we post. So thank you very much, and yeah, we'll see you for a limited run. Take care, guys.